Hi guys, today I'll be doing a tutorial uh, to show you guys how to run the Battlefield 2 t uh, editor. Since I've known that some of you guys have had issues running it properly on your Windows 7 computers. So, um, first off, I ne I'm going to need you to paste this link that I'm going to be showing you. Paste this link in your browser, this one. Um, this is a link that's going to take you to the download for the editor. Um, if you do, don't want to copy it down from the from the video, you can just click it from my descriptions below. Here's the web page that's going to show you the, the, where you're going to need to download it from. Now you see it's about it says Battlefield 2 Editor 1.3. You need to scroll down to where it says Download Battlefield 2 Editor and click on that and you're going to wait for this page to load. On this, on this page all you're going to need to do is press download now and it'll, it'll just start, it'll automatically put it in queue for you to download. It's only about 50 megabits so it's not that big so it shouldn't take long for you to download. You can save it in a place where you know you'll be able to find it. Uh, not, not too complicated, it's a bit simple so you can do this quickly. Okay. Now that once you have it downloaded, you'll just need to. Uh, since I'm using WinRAR, this might look a little bit differently, but all you need to do is extract it and to uh, like the desktop, for example, and just uh, extract it there. This is just going to be the e the uh, the pro the program you're going to need to run to install it. So once you have that ready, you just need to open that up. I mean, first you need to troubleshoot the compatibility just to make sure that there's no problems with it and then yeah uh, use the recommended settings which is the Windows XP Service Pack 2 mode and when you start it it should look like this now you just need to wait you just need to press next I accept next next and you'll just need to wait for it to install Now that's installed, you can just finish. Uh, in this window that was open earlier, you just need to exit it somehow. Just exit. Yeah, I'll just cancel. Now um, you need to go to the to the folder where it, like the EA Games file folder, Battlefield, and then you need to click on the BF2 editor. I'm just going to show you what you guys have been running into. So you see, um, I, you just, you, what you normally would do, you just create a new mode and then once you try to open that up it wouldn't work like you'd get this this error right here DirectX version 9.0 or higher requires to run BF2 please install DirectX 9 to try again or and try again so now you, you'd have that error and now the, pro, the the way to fix this is that you need to open that up again EA games battlefield but this time you need to right click on BF2 editor not just click and you need to go to properties Zoom out. Yeah. Now, next you need to open file location. So that'll show you where it's been that file, where that uh, shortcuts to. Now that you see the file BF2 editor, you need to right click on it and go down to properties. Sorry. Uh, right click on that and go down to properties. Now that you open this window up, go to compatibility. And once you open that, then you need to go to the compatibility mode. You need to run this program in compatibility mode in Windows XP Service Pack 3. And then you can just OK. You press OK or apply it and then OK or whatever. Then you can just click it and it should run properly. Let's just see what will happen. It takes a while to load, especially if you have a slow computer, so you just need to wait. 
OK. So, see. There you go. So, it doesn't, the interface, I don't know, I haven't done much game editing or emoting or whatever. But, the, it's, it looks like you have uh, pretty nifty features. Now, if you don't know how to use it, well, uh, there are tons of good tutorials I've found on YouTube that you can use. Uh, t to show you how to how to uh, make your own maps or edit maps or so bye for now and thanks for watching my video.